In honor of the Lunar New Year, we're so happy to welcome Dr. Jan Schaefer from Missouri State University to hear all about the celebrations going on tomorrow at MSU. Okay, welcome. Fine. Did I say your name correctly? I apologize. Yes. Yeah. Okay, oh, was it okay? Yeah. Thank you. I was trying. <laughs> so, is I have one quick question. Is the Lunar New Year the same thing as what they say the Chinese New Year? That's a good question. Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I think uh, uh, we talk about the uh, Lunar Year usually uh, you know, it's not only New Year celebration, not only celebrated by Chinese, and also celebrated in Vietnamese and um, Korean, okay. and other uh. Asian countries. Oh, that makes sense. But it's origin from China. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about Lunar Chinese New Year, and we really talk about um, celebrated by Chinese. Okay. And, uh, so is it the yeah. Chinese New Year, the Year of the Rabbit, or the, do they go together? How does that work? Am I right on that? Uh, this year actually is a Year of Rabbit. Okay, I was yeah. right. You were right. Good job. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so to celebrate, you have a lot of things going on at MSU tomorrow, mm -hmm. and you brought some amazing things. Now these red envelopes, I want to say, when I was growing up in Texas, I remember a lot of my Asian friends getting these red envelopes. Really? Okay. Can you explain yeah, what they what are? Yeah, what are they? Yeah, this is quite tradition. Um, usually on the New Year, uh, usually kids, little kids get uh, red envelopes from the parents, grandparents, and also senior and uncles, aunts, and supposedly, you know, protect kids to to be safe in the whole year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, help them grow. So know, is it a late. card? It's actually an envelope. It's an envelope in that usually put money. Nice. Money. Yeah, okay. Money. That makes it where the kids probably want it all the more, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're so beautifully, I mean, just they the, are. the way they are, yeah. they're so beautiful. They're different uh, kinds of, yeah. I can you that. find these locally if you wanted to purchase some? Yeah, actually, you can probably buy on uh, Amazon. You can also buy Asian store in Springfield. Okay. I bought those yeah, a couple years ago. Oh. I got a lot. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, I give them uh, <laughs> to my students. <laughs> That's, That's a little so money. Fun. Yeah. That's yeah. so nice. Oh, and you that. also brought some beautiful um, props over here, these boards. What are these? Uh, this is actually the way Chinese uh, uh, celebrate, how Chinese be celebrated. Usually before the Chinese New Year, we have to clean the house inside out and just kind of welcoming the new year to come. So, and the people will decorate it and the house inside and outside. So over here, you see the cupolates. Okay. See the cupolates? So uh, there are lots of best, best wishes, like, you know, wish you happy, wish you Good luck. We have lots of money coming in the house, and also see the orange trees. Orange is really it's lucky fruits. You should eat uh, this time of year. Oh. Okay. That means bring some uh, wealth. You know the health. Gold. Yeah. Oh. You know, symbolize the wealth. Wealth. So wealth. Uh, yeah. Let's eat some oranges. Let's eat oranges. I'm getting an orange tree now. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like the cleaning of the, of the house inside and out. Is that a whole family thing that you do, or is yeah, it? Yeah, it's a big cleaning. Really big cleaning. You really want to get rid of the dust and all kind of evil. You know, accumulate over years, and just feel forget everything in the past year, and just looking forward. You know, welcome. Okay. Something new. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we've kind of done that a little bit this year, we've said out with the old and with the new. <laughs> Let's do it, man. And with the wealth. <laughs> um, do you decorate more for the Chinese New Year? Is it kind of akin to what like we do with Christmas? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It is more like uh, the Chinese New Year is probably most important uh, holidays in China. Oh. So it's more like Christmas. Yeah. It's more like over here, Christmas West, and so we decorated the house. Uh, we also, um, yeah, we pulled a the year, like something like a year post inside. Uh, and also this one, Chinese New Year is also, it's called Spring Festival. Did you see this kind of tree? Oh. This tree actually, it's kind of plum tree, I'm not sure. We can't see over here, but it's China and it bloom right now. Oh. And also it's a sign the spring's coming, the winter's end. Okay. So Chinese New Year is also called Spring Festival. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't know that. I did not know that either. Uh, all right. And also here, let's take this one down. You have another one behind it. So uh, how we celebrate, um, you know, over here in the West, uh, Christmas, Christmas, e uh, Christmas dinner is a big deal for, uh, for Americans, for West, you know, people. But we have New Year's Eve. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is big thing. So people uh, celebrate because they have big dinner together and it's more about family reunion. What would together. you eat at that family meal? Like what's good traditional? Question. Good question. Yeah, over here, I, I'm not so sure we eat all kinds of things, but in China, <laughs> you have to eat certain things, <laughs> like fish. Okay, okay. Do you know why it's a fish? Because fish and there's um, 
there's another character that means uh, the same as Chinese uh, fish, the same character, the same pronunciation, but different characters means leftover. If you eat fish, that means you have plenty. You have leftovers. Uh. Leftover for next year. Oh. Oh. You're not poor. <laughs> it's very symbolic. symbolic. Yes, yes. Very everything symbolic. is symbolic. Yes. yes. We also eat dumplings. A dumpling perhaps is the most popular, you know, um, dinner people get together. You have to cook together. Mm -hmm. Family, you know, we have rep. So, so the men food. have to cook too. Is that part of it? Everybody oh, love it. Oh. I like that. Get so Frank in the so, kitchen. <laughs> yeah, make those dumplings. <laughs> yeah, and also five crackers. You know, got you know, you, you really <clears throat> want to big celebration like uh, mm -hmm. we have. Um, we have a celebration for Independence Day. We shoot firecrackers, you know, for fireworks. It's the same thing in China. And what I've seen that type of firework, like when you go to the, the tent at the 4th of July, like oh, Chinese yeah. lanterns or things like that. Like right. I've seen those, but I've never known right. the symbol symbolic yeah. part of it. See, also Latins and also you see all creative, the color is more red. Mm -hmm. Over here, Christmas is more red and uh, green, but Chinese New Year color seems more red and uh, gold. We're a little crazy. Christmasy today, yes. a little bit. A little red I would assume that probably means wealth somehow, yeah. right? Prosperity. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, color. Red color is a happy color. Okay, yeah. it's really happy color. It's a, when people get married, it actually wear the wear in red. Okay. So over here is white, but uh, the red um, just created for warmth, atmosphere, and uh, you know. Yeah. Goldish color, bring some wells. Quickly, I want to tell the people this <laughs> yeah. is happening tomorrow, January 31st, from 9:30 to 4:30. It's the year of the rabbit, and the event features painting, food, tea workshops, kung fu, and tai chi. Love that. Music and dance. What a great way to celebrate! And coming up in the next hour, guys, we're going to have uh, an, a Chinese instrument and a Chinese dance in I honor. I love it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh, you're welcome. I learned a lot. Yes, I really did. Cheers. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> this is, by the way, this is beautiful.